Hello ladies and gentlemen, let me take this time to welcome you to this special video I'm going to do. Miguna Miguna has just warned William Samoy Ruto and those as new leaders who are joining Kenya Kwanza. It is not yet over. We know that the Azmio team are preparing to present the case in courts. And that is the time Kenyans are going to know what is going to follow. Next, if the court is going to rule that William Samway Ruto won fairly, that's what Kenyans are going to take. And if the court is going to say that there were some rigging, and if the count is going to be done, we are going to know who is going to be the winner. And if there will be a rerun, Kenyans are going back to fort again. Now that we have seen William Samuel Ruto welcoming so many leaders who won under independent tickets and others who were in Azmiolo Moja yesterday you saw the UDM party members who joined William Samuel Ruto and today three or four have joined William Samuel Ruto. Now if you see William Samuel Ruto is controlling both houses that is the parliament and senate. What danger is it this is bringing to Kenya Kwanza? This is something that is going to cost Kenyans and at some point it can cost those who have joined Kenya Kwanza side. Because all through we know that they never campaigned for William Samuel Ruto but right now they can easily move and work with William Samuel Ruto. Why? What are they targeting? According to me, there's some two, three reasons I'm going to discuss in this video so that we can know how it means politically. Before we go deep to the analysis of this, just in case you are here for the first time and if not subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly I'm requesting that you take a second or to subscribe and put on the notification bell so that every time I will be uploading a new video, YouTube will automatically notify you. As you all know, when it comes to leader, leadership, there are so many challenges one faces while he or she is working for his people. And especially when it comes to the president, there are so many challenges are awaiting for the president elect or whoever the court is going to decide. According to what we are seeing, and many Kenyans have come into agreement that there were so many rigging in these concluded elections. And that's why many Kenyans are fearing that the Supreme Court might nullify the results. And if they are going to be nullified, then we are going to fought again. Reason number one why we are seeing so many people moving to Kenya Kwanza is because William Samuel Ruto wants to make sure that by the time the court is going to nullify the results, he has already harvested from Azmira Omoja and those people who have joined him, they are going to bring those thoughts they gave to Azmira Moja. The main topic in this video today is the hunting of Kalonzo Msioka. Kalonzo Msioka is also being targeted to join Kenya Kwanza. 
William Samoy Ruto has sent Mike Mbufi Songo and Mtula Kilonzo Jr. to talk with Kalonzo Msioka so that he can join Kenya Kwanza and work with William Samoy Ruto. Why do you think they are running at this time to talk with Kalonzo Msioka? The Kamba Nation gave offer 700,000 votes to Raira Morodinga and that was through a command Kalonzo Msioka gave to Kamba Nation and the respect they owe him. Now targeting Kalonzo Msioka and if Kalonzo Msioka at this time before the court rules out the results, if Kalonzo Msioka joins uh, Kenya Kwanza, they are going to defeat Raila Morodinga just in case the elections are going to be repeated. And that's why you've seen Miguna Miguna has just won William Samuel Ruto and those who are joining Kenya Kwanza. Let them stay in Azmio and credit what William Samuel Ruto is going to do. At this time, joining Kenya Kwanza, they are causing or they are going to make William Samuel Ruto not to perform. In Kenya, we know very well in 2018, when Handshake came in the government of Jubilee, there are so many things Kenyans uh, suffered from, especially when pesky commodities prices were being adjusted, the opposition side was there to raise an alarm and campaign against, and that's how Kenyans were benefiting from opposition side. There are so many things or roles being played by opposition side, and when William Samuel Ruto is trying to buy all those who want under uh, as Mila Umoja, Tat sends a warning that the government is going to work under no opposition. And if that is going to happen, then the then Kenyans are likely again to be in the Kenyans are likely not to experience any difference from the outgoing government, that is the Uhuru government. But if William Samaruto stops uh, doing handshake with those who, who won from Azmiro Moja, then it means there is going to be an opposition side and he's going to work hard to prove them that what he promised Kenyans he can be able to deliver or he can deliver. So, we don't know what is going to happen, but have seen Dindi Nyoro mentioning about Kalonzo Musioka. I've seen also, uh, there's another person I've seen who has posted about Kalonzo Musioka, that is Mike Mbufisongo. I want to pose a question here as I end this short analysis. What do you expect, apart from what I've mentioned in this video, that if William Samuel Ruto can take, let's say, 50% of those who were voted in Azimura Moja, if he can manage to bring them to Kenya Kwanza, what do you expect from William Samuel Ruto's governors? Thank you for watching this video and keep on subscribing as the channel grows to at least 5,000 subscribers in the next three or one month. Thank you.